I bumped into Tony Briggs. Who? You don't know who Tony Briggs is. How do you expect to get on in this business if you don't mix with these people? I've always been a photographer since leaving college um, in the late 80s. Moved to London pretty much straight away. Um, worked for the BBC for a little while and um, got kicked out there and went freelance and been freelance since. So 20 odd years. By the sort of 70s, I think everything had already been done in photography of the 80s. I think it's just a case of doing it better or doing it, you know, we put your own personal stamp on it. Tony Briggs, gold in his teeth, silver in his eyes, diamond in his heart. Such is the man. It's all very simple things, isn't it? It's all just lenses and, and lighting, but it's um, subtle things of how you work that into making something special. The Kate Moss thing, again, was just catching her at the right time, really. I was shooting for the face magazine in the early 90s and um, we had her in for a big uh, like a hairdressing piece and we shot her and some, some guys having their hair cut with um, standing knives by a hairdresser and they went with that so they didn't even use the Kate Moss pictures so they were shelved and sort of lost in a box for years. I don't advertise myself as a fashion photographer or a portrait photographer, I'm just a photographer. And I do really varied briefs, you know, from ad agencies or magazines or anything. But I'd like to think that you could still tell I took the picture. I've just met the right people at the right times, you know, I've just been doing that a long time and um, I fell into the, the comedy thing as being like a, a comedy photographer. Hello, uh, my name is Jimmy Carr and I'm here to personally endorse the work of Tony Briggs. And keep it short and sweet. It's kind of the really raw grittiness of uh, just basic photography.